Okay, I've always liked uh, ceremony. So now I have my, my flock here. Uh, Jillian, are you all available? Where's my flock? Hello? Yeah, we're yeah. available. <laughs> church is always slow with that you know what I mean <laughs> this is a certain church here we have a uh, you know we have a uh, congregants, congregants that don't even come into the thing we have animals favorite little doggy we got chickens we're here in the location anyway I like I like the you know the ceremony like say for instance the, the Catholic ceremony you know they have their little setup so that, that, that guy would come out he had the thing over there he might kiss his symbol like that and put it like that oh that thing. I particularly like confirmation because the Monsignor would come. The Monsignors always have those, and the bishops too. Well, it's the bishops really. Monsignors are cool, but bishops. I just like saying Monsignor, but the bishops had their little, you know, little cow like that. And then, oh, now, this is a different church because, you know, we church, we wear sunglasses like that. Like that. Like that. Ah, okay. And, or oh, we have to have our accoutrements. This way. Just have to wear this one. Like that, or even the shaker here. Shake it there. I guess you need some kind of water, something like that. Baby, can you bring me a, can one, can one of my congregants bring me just a little, uh, the little thimble of water or something like that? Yeah. Right, get this thing going, please. You know, and church always have the, you know, the deacons and the, and the ushers and the, you know, the first aid ladies and stuff like that. I'm asking my first aid lady right now to get me with that right there. Okay, this is a catchy street one. Doesn't matter. Capoeira. Well, Capoeira. Okay, okay, so now, oh, then we have a, we have a holy text. Let's open the holy book. I'm gonna go to the first Oh, thank, thank you, dear. You thank you, a little water. All mm -hmm. right, I see you have your priest robe on here. That's good. <laughs> uh, okay, now. So now you when you open or, or the book the the uh, the Bible if you will the scripture that we'll be reading out of for this uh, Sunday sermon it is Sunday by the way here Eastern Cape it's Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book you know this is the classic one the 1984 edition I bound it here in, at the Lovedale Press I kept it bound here look it's it's the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept. This right here is the Bible. It's a textbook workbook for thought, speech, speech, and or action for race, for victims of racism, which is right, white supremacy. That's what we read at, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And, um, oh, I had a page. Did I just knock my page out? Oh, no. I just lost my, uh, my thing for the morning. There's politics, religion. These are all, uh, uh, sex, these are all things, war and counter war. We don't talk about war and counter war in, in, the, in the congregation. That's an individual thing. Politics, where it is? Uh, it must be right here. We did shadow boxing the other, the other day. Still on politics here. Uh, oh, did late... Uh, Lately, lately, lately well, I'm going to do this thing what's in the, in the news these days because there's an anti-abortion bill that passed in the South. You know, the country, a lot of concentration of black people are where these draconian laws are happening. They're contrary to the Southeast or whatever have you. And so these people from wherever they were, Alabama, Mississippi, doesn't matter, Georgia, whoever they were, they're all in cahoots together. They have this thing. So I just wanted to go to uh, page 125 under politics, because this is a political thing. Uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book, I call it just the code book, the Bible, if you will. It says, um, <clears throat> do not speak and or act in support of any formal system of birth control for the non-white people of the known universe until such time as the births of all white people come to a complete halt. <laughs> I know, it's a different kind of church for you. Let us read that again. <clears throat> do not speak and or act in support of any formal, that's in quotes, system of birth control meaning the government or somebody has to do with it, any formal, any organization has to do with it. For the non-white people of this known universe, until, that be black people, until such time as the birth of all white people come to a complete halt. Let me take my glass. That's what Mr. Neely Fuller said. Here's the reason, the explanation. 
And that's this, this is what we do in, 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 our, in our church service here. My congregants, are, I've lost my congregants. They're not even listening anymore, I'm sure. They are. Many white people practice racism, that's white supremacy. These white people who, are, who practice racism do not intend for non-white people to be born without their permission. <coughs> such a restriction by such people is non-just and incorrect. In other words, this whole birth control thing is you have to ask permission, you know, for the whole birth. You, let's put it, women have to ask permission from the men to do whatever, okay? Including, well, they make laws so that you have to follow the men's words. Therefore, as long as white supremacy racism exists, non-white people should be wary of all birth control programs that are suggested by and or controlled by others. I would, I would extend this to include, that's all we want to refer, I would extend this to include, and there's the whole thing about vaccination. Again, if we didn't create the vaccination, why would we think it's good for us? And who is creating these vaccinations? Be it birth control, whatever, it doesn't matter. If, if the state starts extending, you, you see if the government starts extending, the, but the problem really is control. The system of, of, of Anglo-racist white supremacy is in control. My glasses are. They control, they make the laws. Think of the people who made this law about anti-birth control. What do they look like? Where did they come from? What's their lineage? What's their heritage? I submit that they have a white supremacy heritage and that white supremacy code uh, has an agenda of getting rid of or subjugating or making sure all non-white people do what the bidding of the white people or the racist, the system of racist, Anglo-racist white supremacy. So that's our sermon for the morning. Uh, my congregants, can I get a, can I get a, a Hare Krishna? They don't, don't know what that is. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. Uh, well, they're not, amen. They're not sincere. I have a very insincere <laughs> congregation. I hope that everybody else can get the just the individual they say they, 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 they they're not good. Just make sure you study your own and make sure you're not to mistreat anybody. That's the whole thing. This whole thing avoids whatever it's, it's mistreatment. Uh, uh, vaccines that mess you up, it's mistreatment. Just don't mistreat anybody. That's the message. I'm a Sunday message for me. T from the Patterson Secular Train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect from a desk of the American descendants of chattel slavery. That would be the A D O S. I'm trying to hear.